Hello photo hobbyists, welcome to the channel. Today we are going to answer the question of some of my friends that asked me how I edit my portrait photos. Today we're going to demonstrate it and this is our working station. We have the iMac, this is a 27 inch uh, 5K iMac. And of course we need the other peripherals like, like this tablet, we call it tablet something that, like that and for those who are asking if I'm using Photoshop no I'm not using Photoshop or Lightroom I am using the this affinity photo so this is a photo of my friend Prexy uh, during our beach shoot in the late summer we're going to show you how I edit it so let's go and this is how I edit my portrait shots with the affinity photo now if you are not familiar with affinity photo this is uh cheaper editing uh photo editing software that's all available very very low compared to the photoshop by adobe this one is a picture i shot with the nikon d750 and the lens I use here is the 70 to 200 millimeter f 2.8 and the, the exposure I use for the shot is 1 over 500 of a second and then the aperture is also 2.8 and ISO 100 so the focal length my distance is around 70 millimeter now this is my friend Prexy which I had a shoot session at the beach in the late uh, part of summer and this is the picture we're going to edit now I open this from uh, its raw file and it automatically came to this this is the raw persona and then as you can see it's in the raw these are the things that you can change I usually play with the exposure like this one so uh, normally uh, there is a good exposure from here so sometimes I raise the black point so to make the image actually pop up and then because it's a portrait I usually put some clarity on it to make the skin softer and to make it pop more on its red I put up a little bit of vibrance and then change a little bit of white balance to make it more summery I mean if there is a word like that this is summer so I raise it up a little bit and that's it basically but sometimes uh, you can also change some of the distortion which is very little on this one but let's try if we reduce a little bit of distortion there is the effect so there you go so in changing the distortion actually is based on what I see so sometimes if it's pleasing to the eye and make it more yeah like the real thing that's it but the problem is you have this gaps here so I just scale it a little bit and there we go and then after that it's almost ready actually let's try if we reduce a little bit of distortion there is the effect so there you go so in changing the distortion actually is based on what I see so sometimes if it's pleasing to the eye and make it more yeah like the real thing so that's it but the problem is you have this gaps here so I just scale it a little bit and there we go and then after that it's almost ready actually in most of the model shots you'll have to have this problem here now I'll zoom it up so you can see so you can see blemishes on the face because at that time you don't know some uh, dirt or anything that came out or some pimples here we can clean that up but 
we have to go to develop first so we press the develop here on the left side corner and it goes to that part which it became a JPEG file and now I'm gonna have to clean some of the blemishes here so I'm going to go here on this icon here on the side it's a healing brush or you can use the blemish removal tool in which is it's actually really easy just point it on something that you want to remove and then it will copy uh, the nearest see the nearest actually similar skin and then put it up and there you go so we're cleaning it up a little bit and some blemishes that you have to remove like this one sometimes you don't see it especially when for example this one we have sand granule on her ear we can remove that one by just clicking it and that's it and then and now it's almost ready actually so it also helps when the model is actually uh, pretty made up you can figure out here she's a good makeup artist so it was really not problem easy to shoot and she also has yeah she also has good posing techniques so this is it now you can you can change a little more you can add more filters if you want like uh, I have to do some haze removals to make it pop more for example this is this this is the actual default but you can change it so now yeah if you apply and then see it like this you can see the difference if I return it this is the original one and then this is the dehaste there you go that's the dehaste what do you think is better so I'm gonna save it this way and uh, saving it is a bit different here you'll have to export it export and then you have to be sure that it's in JPEG if you want the JPEG format we have other formats here we have PNG GIF TIFF PSD PDF or SVG they are available so just quality is 100% of course I want to change that and then the area whole document of course and then just export and then name it for example her name is Prexy and then it goes to my documents and that's it and it's saved sorry <laughs> this is how I edit my portrait pictures on affinity photos now if you want more of anything a demonstration of using this kind of editing and this editing software please give us a comment below and that's it for this video Thank you for watching. I hope to see you again on the next one. Goodbye.